Hello, I'm Missy Barletto, Director of Delray Beach's Public Works Department. The city of Delray Beach is a coastal city home to over 70,000 residents and 3.2 million visitors a year. The city maintains the beach by providing a balance of services that improve the environmental health of the ecosystem while providing a safe recreational amenity for residents and visitors. Management of the beach include annual surveys of the beach profile to ensure that we are maintaining minimum beach widths, daily sea turtle nest monitoring during season, daily beach raking and trash cleanup, and semi-annual dune maintenance. Hello, I'm Carl Kloss, an intern for the Public Works Department for Delray Beach. I'm Ophelia Carter, a volunteer for the Public Works Department for the City of Delray Beach. Delray Beach is unique for being one of the few beaches in South Florida with a dune system that remains widely vegetated with native plant species. This wouldn't be the case without the conservation efforts of both the City of Delray Beach and the many independent volunteers who since the 1980s have been successfully bringing back the dunes native vegetation. <laughs> when the settlement of Delray Beach began in the early 1900s, the dunes native plant population of sea grapes and grasses were built over to accommodate for development. By the 1950s, all traces of native vegetation were wiped from the dunes, leaving them to erode and eventually disappear. Fortunately, by the 1980s, conservation efforts began to restore what was left of the dune system. Volunteers planted sea grape shrubs in the dunes along with other species of native vegetation. But the sea grapes dominated the dunes the quickest, spreading across the coastline and protecting the dunes from further erosion. Today, coastal management programs to maintain the Delray Beach dune system are implemented regularly by the city and involve both the replanting of native plant species as well as the removal of invasive ones. Invasive species like the Hawaiian half flower and Australian pine overcrowd the dunes and prevent native species from effectively growing. The programs also include the trimming of native species such as sea grapes. When sea grapes grow too tall, they are susceptible to falling over during storms. This poses a threat to both local wildlife as well as visitors on the beach, making trimming an essential part of maintaining the dunes. The amount of trimming plants received depends on the type of vegetation and the amount of time since the last trim. Invasive species are removed completely, while native species such as sea grapes normally receive lighter trimming. Sea grapes are removed, however, in the four dunes where they interfere with the growth of sea oats, another native plant species. Natural dune systems are separated into four zones, including the upper beach, the fore dune, the coastal strand, and the maritime hammock. The upper beach includes the submerged and intertidal parts of the dune, and typically does not contain any plant life. The fore dune can be located behind the upper beach and is comprised mainly of sea oats and other grasses. The coastal strand is the largest section of the dune system and is typically the first plant community inland from the coast to host plants containing wood. For this reason, a dense coastal strand can resist strong weather conditions and provide protection for the area surrounding it. In more extreme cases, the dunes can provide protection against storm surges, high waves, and can also reduce flooding. The maritime hammock is located the furthest away from the ocean and consists of tree species including the sea grape, gumbo limbo, and white or Spanish stopper. The trimming and maintenance aspects of the program allow for native vegetation to grow at a healthy rate while keeping the natural ecosystem intact. These programs are crucial to not only the vegetation itself, but to local wildlife such as sea turtles. Tall sea grapes and shrubs located in the coastal strand, with the help of turtle-friendly light fixtures, provide a barrier between beachfront properties and the turtles' light-sensitive nests, allowing their offspring to make it safely to the water. Without proper protection from artificial light pollution, the hatching turtles would become disoriented and not find their way to the ocean. Though the dunes occupy much of the beach's coastline, visitors are advised not to get closer than a few feet away, as they might damage the vegetation that thrive there by stepping on them. Without the presence of plants, the dunes would erode, leaving the beach vulnerable to storms and flooding, ultimately decreasing the success of the dunes as a natural barrier. By visiting our beach, you support efforts to keep native species healthy and the dunes intact. Delray Beach is as unique as it is beautiful, and it would not be Delray Beach without our natural beach dunes. I'm Ophelia Carter. And I'm Carl Kloss. Thank you for taking the time to learn about our natural dunes. If you want to learn more, please visit our website.